What's going on everyone? Welcome back. We're back again. We're back again. And we're currently on our way to Birmingham, the NEC, for the performance car show. It's gonna be amazing. Woke up with a flipping parking ticket, so thank you very much, Cardiff Council. That was literally like three or four minutes before I left my house. So <laughs> yeah, today can only get better really, can't it? I can't wait to see some of these cars. It's gonna be an exciting day to say the, le say the least. So let's go. What's going on? Right, yo, we're here. I'm really excited. We've got to go to the car show at half 11 and it's currently 25 past. So let's shoot over there and then we'll have a walk around, talk to some people. I've got a load of EVS stickers as well to give out. So hopefully we'll see some people. So yeah, let's go on with it. Right, so we're heading into the live action area and we've just been told that noise levels can reach over 80 decibels. Um, so yeah, you're not gonna be able to hear a thing, but we'll show you what's going on. Let's go.
came out of the show and it was absolutely insane. We had people reversing on two wheels, we had Aston Martins on two wheels, the new Superleggera, monster trucks. It was the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. It was cars flying everywhere, smoke, people on wires hanging from the ceiling. It was absolutely insane. So for now though, we're gonna head over and find the Liberty Walk stand. I believe he's next to Yanni as well. Have a chat with him. I, oh man, Liberty Walk. If you're a car fan, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. By far the best body kits of all time. Don't at me. Let's go and have a look at it and find some other stuff. Let's go. Yo, so there it is. I'm so excited they got a living BMW i8. Hey, what is it? I can't even tell. Let's go and walk over. Bro, come on now. This GTR is absolute filth. Oh my god. This, this should have like an over 18 sign. Because this is absolutely disgusting. This says for sale. 10,000 thumbs up and I'll buy it. I just noticed, had a look inside the BMW M4 and it's got AMG racing seats. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> and also, check the fitment, fam. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> That would not get over any bump in my roads. <laughs> Full rotiform wheels. Expensive is what this car is. Extremely expensive. It's looking like the M4 CS with full rotiform wheels and like a 30 grand Liberty Walk kit and probably a 10 grand exhaust system as well. It's one hell of a car. So yeah, I'm just checking out this Range Rover over here. It took me a good five minutes to figure out what the hell it was because the body kit is insane and, and it's a bit rare because it's a brand new Velar. <laughs> Look at the state of it. Wide body kit, quad exhaust, it's absolutely sick. I think I've fallen in love. Um, Anna, I'm about to take the ring back because this. Uh, <laughs> I, I genuinely don't even know what to say about it. Yo, Roy, man like Roy Jones, you need to be buying this. Oh, I don't even know who does this. Thing. It's looking like a living. It's my baby. The best looking supercar made for a very long time. A Lamborghini Huracan. And it's looking like it might just be the performance with that spoiler. Let's get a closer look.
you ever seen a million pounds? Because uh, there's a million pounds over there. Over a million. Oh They're 918. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, the 918 is called the 918 because there's only 918 being made. So if you write one off, you are an absolute donut. This 918 in particular is actually Mr. Afsal Khan. So you know this is well looked after. This guy does not mess about. The number plate is 4K, not like your TV. Man, it's crazy. This is the closest I've ever been to the 918 and it's insane. Over a million pounds. And here we have the boy Yanni. Now a lot of you don't know, back in the day, I used to sell Yanni cars before he was Yanni, if that makes sense. So there's an absolutely massive line to meet him. He doesn't actually know who I am. He's obviously he spoke to me on the phone and all that kind of stuff. But today I might actually get to meet him, introduce myself again and uh, congratulate him on all his amazing hard work. He's a proper humble guy, really nice guy, so I can't fault him. Someone needs to name me a company that's making better G-Wagon kits than Urban Automotive at the moment because all the other ones look tacky, whereas this one is very classy. It almost looks stock, but just like 100 times more aggressive. And those wheels are just unreal. I'm really loving the white on black color combination with the carbon as well. Urban Automotive, you're never going to be disappointed by them. This is what we were after. No, no. So, um... no, obviously, I've never been to a car show before, so excuse me if I'm gassing for no reason. But this Liberty Walk, uh, what is it, an Aventador? Yeah. Over here, it's literally touching the floor. Oh my god! Oh, this is the one that's on the on the, poster. The, the poster. Yeah. Oh my god! I take back everything I said about the hurricane. That, like, oh man, I'm so sad because I've been gassing on the hurricane for years and years and years. But the Aventador sat right here with this kit and that wing and those wheels and that stance doesn't get much better than that, does it? Surely. Yeah. Well, you could talk for hours on this car, couldn't you? Flipping out. So I've just been told that this absolutely mental Aventador is for sale for about 330. The kit. Well, the, the build costs £110,000 without the car and it's not wrapped. All the work that you see on the car is actually painted. So the level of detail that's gone into this and on the inside as well, it's had a full rebuild. The whole car is just absolutely insane. So someone is getting a deal of a lifetime for buying this. Hey, and look what we have around the corner. It's a good old taste of the past. Oh man, how oh, I miss this car. A three litre turbo. Let's see, I believe this is a 235. Oh no, I stand corrected, it is a 240 with the M4 spoiler as well, which is exactly what I should have put on my one. Anyone that knows me knows my passion for Formula One. And I didn't think these types of cars would be here. So now I'm like fully like fanboying. And we've got the Lotus, uh, Force India and the Ferrari. And I'm hoping I can see a little bit of Mercedes over there. So you know we gotta go and check that out. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm to the gym for a while, but <laughs> let's see how, how hench you have to be to be a pit man. <laughs> oh. I don't envy those guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Right, you can test your reaction skills with the Pirelli simulator. So I think I'm gonna jump in now. I've played all the other games here, so why not? Why not? So this is the part where Fahid was extremely jealous of my driving skills. I set a lap record, he didn't record it properly, so now my revenge is showing you him crashing. Thank you very much for watching this has been one of the best days i've had in a very long time i've never seen so many amazing cars spoke with amazing people that are really genuine now the car community is always a good place to be and this has been just such a good video man i love it i love it i love it i'm definitely going to do more comment down below your favorite car obviously it's kind of hard for us to show everything and speak about everything but hopefully you just enjoyed listening to some music and looking at the cars so thank you very much for watching next week what have we got what have we got We've got potentially a C63 uh, fully blacked out is going to be the nicest C63 that you've seen in a long time. Surprisingly, there's none here. Um, and we've also got a Jaguar I-Pace, which is going to be delivered by mid-feb. So expect to see that one very soon on your screens. But thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like the video, and then we'll see you next week. Ooh.